Hey everybody, it's Jerwin from Project Line. Today we're going to take a look at intercompany transactions in NetSuite. So if you have multi-companies, it's very common to create intercompany transactions like intercompany journal entries, sales orders and purchase orders, and even simple inventory transfers between your companies. The good news is that NetSuite has actually streamlined all of these processes for you, making it extremely simple to transact between companies. Take a look at the bottom right here. This is my subsidiary navigator, and this basically is an overview of the companies I have set up in NetSuite. So for example, I've got my parent company, and I also have a Canadian company set up. I've got two US companies, and I even have an elimination company set up. So the elimination company, as you know, that's where I would book all of my elimination entries from my subsidiaries into my elimination company so that you know I don't overstate or overinflate my revenues or expenses and payables and receivables uh, from my subsidiaries. And typically you would do this during your month and close. Um, that's when you would book your elimination entries. So if we create uh, an advanced intercompany journal entry, let me show you how easy it is. So for example, let's say our Canadian company wants to buy some supplies from our US company. I'll just pick our Canadian subsidiary. I'll put a little memo in here. Purchase supplies from our US one company. I can even pick which currency I want to transact in. And then down here in the lines, this is where I create my journal entries. So for example, my Canadian subsidiary, I want to pick my supplies expense account. So I'll go up here to expenses and I'm just going to pick my supplies GL account here and I'll pick a weird number here. I'll pick, uh, I don't know, 777 for example and then I will create the offset journal entry against my US1 company for the same amount. If I scroll over a tab over it's going to automatically put that credit amount. Now obviously I need to create the intercompany receivables and payables journal entries as well. I can do that manually or I can just simply create them by clicking on this button called auto balance. And what NetSuite will do is automatically create the intercompany receivables and intercompany payable uh, GL uh, transactions for me or journal entries for me. So as you can see here, it's created an accounts payable for $777 um to my intercompany vendor us1 and then on the bottom here it, it's automatically created an uh, intercompany receivables amount of 777 dollars uh, from my intercompany canadian uh, subsidiary and as you can see here it's actually flagged them as you know elimination entries so as you remember um, at the end of the month when we do our period and closing it will automatically pick these transactions up to be eliminated in our elimination company. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And as you can see, it's uh, been approved, it's posted in our GL, and now let's go take a look and run a balance sheet. So we can break this down by subsidiary, for example, so I get a side-by-side -side view. And you can see I've got, you know, I can compare all of my intercompany transactions against my Canadian sub. I can see the amounts of my US one company. I can see any in my US two company and any amounts in my elimination company. So for example, if we look into our US one intercompany receivables and we drill into it, we can see that amount of $777 that we're supposed to receive from our Canadian subsidiary. And again, I can drill into that record and I can see that transaction, that journal entry that we created earlier. So, you know, it's really easy to navigate, really easy to find information about your intercompany transactions in NetSuite. And if I go back to our balance sheet, I can, you know, vice versa, I can look at the intercompany payables in our Canadian company, and I can also see that transaction and drill into that journal entry as well. Now, at the end of the month, like I said, we need to, you know, create those offsetting um, amounts or elimination entries into our elimination company. So, for example, uh, if we look over here, we have our checklist for our period and close. And if I click on our checklist here, you can see all the things I need to do 
And at the bottom, one of the things I need to do is create my elimination intercompany transactions, right? Um, I can't do that at the moment just because I have a ton of other things on my uh, period and checklist here that I need to do before I can do my elimination entries. But the idea here is that, you know, you've got the process in place here in NetSuite. NetSuite's really streamlined all of this for you. And also the takeaway here is that, you know, you have full visibility into these uh, automated intercompany transactions, as I showed you, and you can easily drill down into those transactions on your balance sheet or even on your income statement. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one.